So let's continue with our understanding of jQuery. Now before we can uh, proceed working with jQuery, we need to understand a concept of uh, DOM or the document object model. Now the document object model basically is a mechanism which can represent our HTML type documents like XML, SVGs and other things, markup basically things that are available in markup languages in a tree type structure. Now what is the purpose of representing something like in a tree type structure is basically that allows us to access each and every element in a hierarchy. So over here I have this document which I have placed in one of the sites where the document can be converted and shown as a tree type structure. Let's have a look at that. So <clears throat> here this is a DOM visualizer which we have and I have pasted the content over here and this is generated the DOM. So the topmost element or like every markup language document like HTML or XML they have a root element fine. So that is the topmost level element and under which everything is represented. So this is a tree structure and everything is represented over here as a node. So this is the topmost node. This is referred as a document node for HTML with respect to HTML DOM. Fine. Then this becomes the head node. Head has this tag meta, meta node, title node. Then there is another meta node. Title has some text inside it. If you look at here, title has some text inside it. Fine. Then similarly here, if we go to the body part, body has this h1 which has a class main title and then it has some text inside it. Similarly, we have uh, the body has some direct text over here. There is some paragraph. There is a div ID content which is displayed like this. It has a paragraph. Paragraph has some text and that text in between has a bold tag and all. So, so on if you look at it, this is how the whole document over here is being represented as a hierarchical tree structure. Now, what is the purpose of representation of this? So see what happens is when uh, the HTML page is downloaded by our browser, it gets loaded in, into its memory and a DOM structure is created of that. Fine. This type of structure is available. Now, why would you need this type of structure? The thing that we are doing with JavaScript or we want that dynamic effect on the pages to handle each and every element or manipulate any of these elements, this kind of representation is required or this representation was developed. So basically the HTML DOM, specifically the HTML DOM, it's an API, fine, which allows us to interface or interact with the elements with the help of different kind of programming languages. Specifically in our case, this programming language is going to be JavaScript. So with the help of JavaScript, we'll be able to manipulate our elements or work with these elements. So the topmost or the whole document in HTML DOM is represented as a document, which basically the representation for JavaScript is done as an object. So our whole page is provided as an object or the whole HTML document is provided as a object where document is the top level object with which you will be able to manipulate each and every element. So many places you will see that we are using document dot this document dot that or maybe we are having like h1 dot uh, contents or something like that. Basically if you have worked with JavaScript you will note you'll be able to understand that everything is being represented as the objects and these objects will be able to manipulate with certain methods as well as we can update retrieve their properties like content will be a property fine so we'll be able to update the content retrieve the contents or manage their uh, different kind of classes we can manipulate the css for a given element or we can handle events associated with different kind of things so the basic idea is once this representation is provided the DOM API allows us to use JavaScript and work with it.
now if you want to further get into the detailed understanding of this so the basic understanding of the dom overall is provided here on the developer.mozilla.org pages over here you will find the uh, search for document object model and you will find the details of that then specifically if you are looking for what is the html dom api you can look into this so primarily in simple team the terms you should be able to visualize your html document in this manner now if you can see and visualize this manner it will be easier for you to work with different elements fine so like how you are going to target a particular element which element to select so that which content you can work upon so like if you wanted to do something to the list items fine you would want to first select the ordered list ol because the list items are within this to manipulate this like say you wanted to simply change the css of every even element or every even list item so you will you can change it via the ordered list and using the document object model these basic things are actually done via javascript but since we are going to use jquery jquery will also allow us to do these things as we have discussed earlier in a much more easier manner so overall that's a basic idea about the document object model you can also come to this site fine and place your content over here and then it generates this documentary over here another location which i found was this here also you can place your html code and visualize it over here the representation is a bit different over here fine and it gives you some up to down or down to up or say left to right visualization can also be seen over here fine so that's the uh, basic idea about our document object model and do refer this whole thing once uh, there is a section in wikipedia also you can look for that but this is a good enough documentation to get a basic idea even if you don't completely understand that's a good thing that you just go through it once to grasp some key points over there so in the next session we'll start working with the jquery part or how basically we write the jquery code that we will see